ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the future of World of Warcraft. More specifically, events that will be unfolding in the game in the upcoming 7.3.2 patch and beyond. Just to forewarn you, if you haven't looked at the thumbnail or title of the video, this video will contain massive spoilers. So now onto the explanation itself. When the first build of the new 7.3.2 patch dropped on the PTR, those naughty data miners dug up this minimap here, showing our beloved Silithus with a massive whispering eye in the middle of it. After some more mining, they found various in-game speech files which seem to point at one specific catastrophic event that happens at the end of the Antorus the Burning Throne raid. The TLDR of this is basically Sargeras is going to be imprisoned for life by Illidan, but just before he did that, he smites his massive sword down into Silithus as his final act of evil, hence creating the massive hole you see in the data mine minimap. Obviously, there's more speculation and thousands of other videos talking about this subject, but we'll be here all day if I went into all of that, so we won't. So you're here for some exploration, and that's what you'll get. So you're probably wondering why haven't we seen this already, as the minimap was data mined so long ago. That's because Blizzard have found out how to encode specific pieces of data so we can't see stuff early, which leads me to believe they left that minimap in the game files so us content creators could make a bit more of that sweet, sweet clickbait ad revenue, or more realistically, just to build more hype and speculation onto the next expansion. Who knows? So as of the latest PTR build, Blizzard updated the minimap. And using my trusty sandbox server, I went headfirst to see if that pesky map had been unencrypted. Unencrypted? Whatever. You know what I mean. And it has! So what I'm going to do is a little flyover with some fun, uncopyrighted music, and then I'll give you my brief thoughts and theories on it afterwards. So what I can gather from looking around is that everything in Silithus has been completely wiped out, apart from Valor's Rest, which is in the northeast corner of the map. The Cenarian Circle are going to be pissed when they hear about all of this, that's what I'm saying. So there doesn't seem to be any specific camps for the Horde or Alliance, but according to the game files there are locations for Horde and Alliance on the map, but they could just end up being graveyards. Also over the gaping hole there's an encrypted game object, this has been speculated to be Sargeras' sword which would make sense, but I guess we won't be seeing what that looks like until this drops onto the live servers. And finally, Ankaraj. It seems untouched by all of this, which is interesting as you'd imagine this final blow was going to be some sort of attack on Cthulhu, judging by the location. So that's pretty much all I've got for this video guys. Let me know your thoughts on this new change to Silithus and your theories on what it might mean for the future of the game. Also a side note, they've also datamined a spell which reverts this area back to its original state. So you won't be saying goodbye to those Twilight cultists just yet. So before I go, I want to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons and YouTube sponsors. If you're interested in supporting the channel in that way, links are down below. So leave a like on this video if you liked it guys, and subscribe if you haven't. And with that, I'll see you next time.